Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in the ultimate game of the year. Yes, it is finally bluey time, wackadoo! Now this was developed by Artax Games, published by Outright Games and is available for usually £34.99 slash $39.99 but hopefully it can appear on Game Pass sooner rather than later. So, the greatest kid show of all time, fighting it out with Spongebob, is a game for the first time and we can explore the Gila House, the creek, the beach and the playground as Bandit, Chili, Bluey and Bingo while completing four episodes and just really enjoying this one. Now as for achievements, you get a lot for completing each episode. There are a few miscellaneous ones such as jump on a trampoline, um, jump off a seesaw, etc. You know, very hard to miss ones, but there are plenty of collectibles and stickers to keep an eye out for. Luckily any collectibles you can tell as they have like a little shimmer around them. A little glaze as it were. Otherwise this is just as funny, relaxing and enjoyable as the TV show. So all in all you're looking at around just under two hours to get this done so with that being said then let's do it. And the only problem with this is because of obviously more copyright issues I'm not able to play the music, which is such a shame because it is, it's a classic cult music now, heard all around the world. So anyway, you can select whoever you want to play with. For now, I'm going to go with Bandit because I feel like me and Bandit have a special close connection. I too look like a dog. No, wait. What? Yeah. Holidays! Mom! Dad! Wake up! Uh, oh, hey, what? We've made a sticker book of all the things we're going to do. Don't forget, we've already got lots of fun stuff planned. You're going to play with Muffin at the park, see Grandad, and there's a trip to the beach. Hey, Bingo, let's go play mermaids. Yeah! Hold your horses there, girls. Before you get to games, you have to clean up your toys. Oh, do we have to? Yeah, it's like a zoo down there. That's because we were playing zoo. Well, you can't argue with that. How about I help you? Okay. Good plan, gang. I'm gonna get a bit more shut-eye. Hey! This episode of Bluey is called Holidays. All right, let's round up these critters. Oh, let's make it so the animals have escaped from the zoo. Actually, me and Bandit are very much the same in terms of just leave us alone. We want to sleep, damn it. So anyway, these episodes, the four episodes are very easy enough, so basically there will always be like a little market that you just have to go and follow. The X button will be to pick things up. The B button is to kick, so if you want to kick anyone, then, well, by all means, but then you'd be kicking dogs. And you're against animal cruelty, aren't you? Even if it is a cartoon. So, uh, yeah, there's not really much to say. In terms of the episodes, as I said, it's, it's very, very straightforward. All you're doing is... Just going around the house, following the markers, and picking up what you need to pick up. So in every episode, you'll get an achievement tied to what the thing you're doing. So we are going to get our first achievement for finding all the animals. But it's when you walk around the Bluey household, do you realise just how rich they are? Now tell me, what are your jobs? It's basically like Home Alone, except why the hell would you have like 16 kids and then go on holiday? I just, yeah. Blech. But uh, yeah, so again, just follow the arrows for now, and uh, oh, a monkey. Very enjoy the scenery. Come on, little fella. Cheese and crackers. There are critters all over the place. Let's get that spider first. Oh, phew. It's only rubber. Great answer! Quick, we need to save him! Bye, look! <coughs> Can we find Keepy Uppy? So there it is then, our first achievement. It's like a zoo down here! Which is pretty much Australia to a T, isn't it? It's basically a big giant zoo with scary spiders but the probably the sexiest accents in the world do love an Aussie accent and by the way Australians that's not me coming on to you I'm just merely giving you a compliment 
So, uh, yes, don't worry. Uh, so, again, we're going to play a little bit of Keepy Uppy here. This isn't the one for the achievement. We're basically going to get that on the beach at the end of the game. Although you can do it whenever the games have unlocked. One thing I should say, though, definitely, is between this and the Peppa Pig game, again, what you're doing is just pressing the X button and you're just going to uh, go underneath it. There'll be a marker just underneath the balloon. So, obviously, follow that. But in terms of Bluey versus the Peppa Pig game, this actually feels more... Like, the Peppa Pig games were cool. They were good enough. They were very, you know, enjoyable enough. But this feels more finished. This feels more refined. More... It feels more enjoyable, purely because there's a story. We go into different locations. And the Peppa Pig ones, they just... I don't know, it's hard to explain, but they kind of feel just a bit empty. You know, the holiday ones, you know, where Peppa was going to different countries. There was just no story to it. That's why I think... This is going to be enjoyed a little bit more. And also, of course, um, everyone at Artax Games managed to get the um, the actual voice voice uh, actors so for the game, which is just really awesome in itself. So uh, yeah, that's just my little humble opinion on it. That's why I'm. That's why I have enjoyed this game more. It just feels fuller uh, with an actual story to follow. But again follow and it's going to give us a little bit more of a tutorial here in terms of how to push and pull things again you just press the x button and then you go left right up down brown town charlie brown stop saying brown it looks too heavy i can help you if it's too heavy maybe dad can help you or oh, mum Good work, we're nearly there! Whoa, that pram looks heavy. Might need an extra pair of muscles to help move it. Ha! Oh, way to go! Teamwork makes the dream work! Alright, let's get that balloon! Yeah! Oh, what's this? Hey, that's a picture of me when I was a kid. In the olden day. You mean the 80s? Yeah. What's that drawing on the back? Ha, huh, no way. I'd forgotten about this. When we were kids, your Uncle Stripe, Uncle Rad and I buried some treasure and we drew this map so we could find it again. It's a treasure map. Ooh, treasure. Can we go find it? Well, this is only one piece of the map. We'd need to find the other two pieces from your Uncle Rad and Uncle Stripe so we know where to look. Aw, oh, girls, you don't want to spend your holidays looking for Dad's old junk. Yes, yes we, we do. do. Please, please. Well, maybe you can ask Uncle Stripe when you see him tomorrow. Looks like we're going on a treasure hunt, Squirts. <laughs> so there we have it then, episode one. Finished the episodes again. They literally take about eight to ten minutes long, and there's only four of them, so they're not going to be too bad. But here we are. Dad's piece of map. Finished episode one. It just. Oh my god, it was so cool! Right, so. What we're going to do now, if you go into the back right corner of the room here, you're going to find the sticker book. Now, Chili's basically going to explain everything, so. Obviously, the story mode is the basically the ripped maps piece of paper there on the left. Um, up top and down the bottom are basically the collectibles and sti or, or just the stickers that we're going to grab. Um, so we'll be grabbing a lot of them in the house for the first one. And for these locations, you're going to, we're going to be finding 12. They're all going to be the same, but we need to find 12 collectibles in each location. Obviously, they only get unlocked the further you play in. So... We're going to stick with the healer house for now, and we'll just crack on with some collectibles. The first one is in this, just behind these pillows here. You can see what I mean by the sort of shining glimmer just behind it there. So move everything that you can. You can press the B button as well to drop some stuff, and there will be the first one. So again, some are stickers, which will be collected at the very top. God damn it, how many books and pillows do you have? Yo! -ho -ho! I love it. I love it. So yes, some are collectibles. Obviously, the, again, the ones where it says not are three, they are the collectibles. The ones at the top are the stickers. So we don't need to go and search for this particular sticker again. 
you get me blood. Bluey blood. So uh, let's head down the screen a little bit into the middle of the room and you can find the hockey stick. This is one of the first collectibles. So now we're going to get another achievement here, Family Matters. And the way we do that is press start, go to character selection. And um, we've already played as Bandit, so now we can play as Bluey. Press start again, go to character selection and click bingo. And then choose Mama, Mama Chili, and Pity. There it is, look, yep. Yeah. So that's how you get the Family Matter achievement, just by playing as everyone. So nice and easy, got that one out of the way. Right, so from where we were in the middle of the room then, there we go, just to let you all know, that's where we were. Head to the left and down, and you're going to see another collectible. It's the uh, pie cake. It's the cake of sorts, right on the top shelf. <laughs> Hooray! So you don't have to do any grinding in order to unlock the, as we head to the left and go outside, but you don't have to do any grinding to unlock any of the costumes. Just by playing through all of them, you will be able to get the costume achievement for collecting all costumes by episode four. So there is little Leafy just on the uh, shelf right there. The shelf, the, you know, banister. Head down in the water fountain is El Frognus Regis. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Yeah, by the way, after this screen, you can press the B button to go back, just in case you probably didn't notice because my Welsh Shanta sign was in the way, but now you notice. So head down the screen, and we are going to the right. So what we're going to do is actually get another achievement now called Pretty Cool Leaves. So what we will do is pick up this watering can, press the X button next to the tap. That's obviously going to fill it up. That's usually how taps work. It looks like, uh, look like a nice beer, actually, apart from all the froth on top. Anyway, head to the plant, press the X button a couple of times on it, and we will get the pretty cool leaves achievement. And as you can see on the bottom, it is part of a lot of plant stickers. So the majority you can get either in this garden or the playground. Now I get the majority in the playground. There's a couple in the creek and there's one in the beach. So yeah, there we go. So now we are Chef. Chef from South Park is coming to Blue Ear. That was a terrible chef accent, but still, there we go. So that's that sticker. So continue heading on to the right, past the tap, and there's going to be a couple here that we are going to do. Um, now, <laughs> with this one, now what you can do with to get that sticky, as Bluey, you can either jump up on the left-hand side box, or you can actually hitch a uh, ride with Dad, uh, with Bandit, by pressing and holding the X button, and then he press the X button again, and he can throw you up. So that's how you get that one. But because I didn't figure it out yet, we will come back to that one just a little bit later on. So grab the ball, as you can see, right in the middle. And then we're going to go for the hat trick achievement here as well. So in the toy box behind you, press the X button, click A on the football, A to use it. Now, what you're supposed to do is just put it down on the floor and then you're supposed to press the B button. And that's supposed to kick it, but for some reason, Bandit wasn't kicking it. So you can either walk it into the goal, is which is exactly what I do now, or you can be either um, Bluey or Bingo, and they'll be able to kick the ball in. For some reason, uh, Bandit was having a bit of a, a minor meltdown. Morning miscommunication meltdown of... Oh, oh, and it's on the bar. You know what? That's every Manchester United's bloody players, that is. They need to get a defender to score, because their strikers can't do it. Anyway, once you get the hat-trick achievement, continue, sorry, continue heading on to the right. A couple more things we're going to grab in the garden before heading back inside. And the first one is right by the steps. It's Little Bearness. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Oh, it's the... Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your trampoline, oh yeah, jump. So what you're going to do then is jump on the trampoline until you reach maximum height. So just keep pressing the A button. So basically, as soon as you jump down, press the A button again. It's kind of a little bit of timing, but uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to master. That'll get you the bouncy house achievement. Then run back 
uh, actually, no, we're all done. Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself there. So for now, we're all done in the garden. So what we're going to do is head up the steps here. On the left is a hockey stick leaning up against the post. Hooray! I don't know why this uh, next hat reminds me of The Simpsons, where he, uh, Homer meets Red Barkley. Oh my god, it's him! It's you! You're Tony Randall! <coughs> Red Barkley's the name. Anyway, into this little playroom then, and you can see just in the corner right here is Little Leafy. Again, there's going to be three of the same things, as you can see, in every single chapter, or episode, or location. Uh, plus, obviously, all the stickers and stuff, so lots to do. Right, jump down, go to the left side of this little sofa, setty thing, jump on the bouncy hopper balls to unlock that sticker. So, once we have jumped on, we will... Oh, we'll float in mid-air. No, we're good. Right, uh, head out to the left. Yep, there's nothing outside of the left, but just to the left. There we go. So, heading to the left into this main area. There's like a million main areas in this in this house. God damn, these healer dogs are rich. Anyway, jump it up onto the shelves and grab little Jigglypuff sticker. <laughs> wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! Jiggly puff, jiggly puff. Yes, right. For some reason, go for a nice spin around. Right. Now, let us head up the stairs. Dun, dun, dun. Now we're going to see just how big this house is. They've got tables on the upstairs and everything. So right at the back then, on top of the shelf, is Kitty Kit. Meow, meow, meow. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! And after that, let us jump down, boosh, go to the right. So we'll just uh, smash out a couple of things here to the right and then head to the left. So into the bathroom we go. There's going to be little... Oh, fine, it's not a rubber ducky. It's a nada sticker. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! I mean, it wasn't rubber ducky, but it was still ducky enough. That's some good ducking, dog. Right, so go into the next room, which is the toilet, to find, hilariously, the newspaper, which, of course, I mean, nobody really reads a newspaper on the toilet these days. You spend about 45 minutes on your phone until your legs are pretty much dead, and then you struggle to walk for 10 minutes. Yes, we all know how it goes. The memes are too strong to simply get off after two minutes. Anyway, there is the next collectible, the newspaper, so now we can head into the next room on the right here. After we kick Bluey and Bandit. Why? People and by the way, for anyone who didn't know, yes, Bluey is a girl. How many times did everyone get tricked thinking Bluey was a boy? Me included. Right, so well done for being a girl, Bluey. Let's grab the next newspaper from here. There's literally like four living rooms and the kitchen's upstairs for some reason. That's knackering to me. Right, uh, so that's the second newspaper. Head to the right uh, next to the TV. And there is a dolphin. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! Right, from here we're going to head straight... Oh, uh, no, we're going to the right, actually, into the kitchen. And just outside to the right. And then what you can see on the table is a cheeky little keg again. Hooray! What you say, dear? The elegant hat. And we all know those episodes where the kids are little old ladies. 
Whoa, I can't hear you, Jenny. Right, so after kicking your kids again for some reason, sorry, sorry, that's not very good. We're going to open up the cupboard, the top left cupboard. Uh, well, actually, both of the cupboards here. One will have a cake in it, the bottom one, and the top one will have another sticker in it. <laughs> wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! Look at us, bruh. We're flying already. Okay, so jump out through the window, because why not? Now, the two plants we are going to get later on are up in just the uh, outside of the kitchen. So, um, but again, we'll come back to that later. We've got to do backyard collectibles as well, so don't worry about them just yet. So heading to the left now, into the old gal's bedroom. There is another sticker there on the... Uh, ignore this, sorry, I accidentally clicked the sticker book. So give it a little bouncy bounce and collect the next sticker. Wow, got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Choo 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 riding on the techno train. Choo 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 choo. Are there any electric uh, callboy fans in here? I've only just recently discovered that band and they are magnifico. Right, so after jumping on the bed, in the hidden in the left hand corner here underneath the pillow is Leafy again. So you can pick up Leafy, not the cloud. <laughs> Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hooray! Okay, so next up, what we're going to do is head down. So, yes, we are going to head down. Uh, just ignore me. It, it, it all leads to the same hallway, so that was pretty pointless of me right there. My apologies. So, go into the what appears to be an abandoned room or the old, just a random room to find another newspaper next to the guitar on the chair. So that's going to be number three. So we've got one more hockey stick collectible left to grab, which is going to be in Bandit and Chili's room where the nice, comfortable bed is. Right, so uh, before leaving here though, jump into the baby's cot. I hope they're not having a third kid. Two kids, fine. Three kids, pure agony. I expect. It would be for me anyway. Two kids, more than plenty. More than plenty. Anyway, once you have gotten this sticker from the baby's cot, we're now going to become Farmer Johns. Yeah, everyone's called John and now we're all farmers. Again, terrible accent. My apologies. So, after bouncing like a baby for a bit, now we'll head down, go to the left, into our room, or the parents' bedroom, and out the back there is another hockey stick. <laughs> wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. And while we're still here then, what we'll do is, you can see the monkey there on top of the plant. So wherever you can, no, that's a pillow. So we will go ahead and eventually, we can press the X button here. You're going to have to do it from the side, of course, because you can't go up and down. There we go. Give it a shake a few times. And the monkey will be on the floor for another sticker. Wow, you got a sticker sport. Now, for the sort of final sticker in this area, not um, not including the plants, uh, we're going to go back outside and grab the one that was on the windowsill. Again, if you've already done it, then you can pretty much just go ahead and start playing episode two. But if, like me, you decided to just come back later, make sure to go as Bluey first, because that's who we're going to need. As you can see, I went to Bluey, and Bluey remained upstairs, which is nice. So that was a nice bit of valuable wasted time there. Sorry about that. So we're going to go outside. Like I said, there's two ways that you can do this, I said earlier. You can either jump up on the thing on the side and 
jump up eventually, or you can just get on Dad's shoulders, Bandit's shoulders, by pressing and holding the X button, pressing the X button by it, and he'll fling you up there. So, um, yeah, there's two ways to do it, but for some reason I decided to do it the hard way, which sounds about right for me. Um, anyway, once you have got this sticker, we got a sticker sport! Flower crown, eh? It's peanut butter hippie time, peanut butter hippie time, peanut butter hippie, peanut butter hippie, peanut butter hippie with a baseball bat, etc, etc. Right, so, uh, yeah, we're effectively done with these collectibles again. After finishing episode two, we will have to get um, more collectibles will show up. But for now, we'll go to the sticker book, press the A button, and continue on the beloved Bluey way. Stripe and muffin at the park. Oh no. What? Oh no, not Sticky Gecko. This episode of Bluey is called Rescue. Come on, kids. We're going to be late to meet Muffin and Uncle Stripe. But I have to catch Gecky. Oh, Bingo, that's going to take a long time. We'll have to help Gecky get down. Good idea. Let's grab something to stand on. And just a small wee thing to do first. Drag the table over to the left to try and get Gecko and Gecky Gek, and it ain't happening. You're geckless. Panada Nomada Gecko. We can't get it. Come on, kids, let's go to the park. I'll get Gecky something soft to land on. Just in case. Come on, Squirt. We can ask your Uncle Stripe about the next piece of the map. Hey! We're here. Yeah. Where are we meeting Muffin and Stripe? Let me see. Ah, at the Castle Fort. Castle Fort? This place is massive. Bluey, where is the Castle Fort? I don't know, but I know how to find out. Let's go to the top of the slide hill. Oh, yeah. We'll be able to see the whole park from up there. So, just like episode one then, like I said, every episode's going to be the same way. Effectively, you are just going to be following the um, arrow, the marker direction. And it's, yeah, yeah, there's not a lot else to say. So, there's no point me explaining where to go when you can already see where to go. So, go you must fly to the mustest of just, uh, yeah, just follow the directions, okay? Thanks. Further from higher up. Ooh, okay. Come on, bingo. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Look over there! We found them! Wackadoo! Lead the way, girls! Looking sharp, mate. Ah, uh, yeah. Muffin wanted to play dress-ups. Ooh, nice tiara, Muffin. Thanks. I'm a princess. What should we play? Oh, let's play Ground is Lava. Oh, yeah. I don't think princesses can play Ground is Lava. I think they just stand around and wave and look pretty. Oh. I know. You can be a princess in a tower, and we have to play ground as lava to rescue you. Yeah, but you have to wear dress-ups too. Okay. Ah! Yes, Muffy? Where are my dress-ups? We need them to play ground as lava. Uh, I think you left them over at the playground with the flying fox. We'll go get them. All right, gang, let's go. All right, party people, where are those dress-ups? I think I see them. 
Good stuff. Let's grab and go. Stop. You're in the lava. What? We're playing grounds lava, remember? Oh, man, this lava is everywhere. But how do we get to Muffin's dresses without touching the ground? We'll have to climb and jump our way there. Now time for everyone's favourite game, a bit of ground is lava. Now, just note that if you do accidentally uh, hit the floor for whatever reason, you'll just get pushed back to the previous thing you were standing on. So don't worry, you won't actually um, get moulded into lava in real life. That would be quite... Quite shocking for any kids watching, wouldn't it? It is. But we can use that frog to jump and reach there. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Dad! <laughs> Good one, girls. Let's head back to play with Muffin. <laughs> We got them. Thanks, Bluey and Bingo. All right, you legends have fun. Dad's going to put his feet up. <sighs> no, you have to play too, in the dress-ups. Oh, uh... Please? <sighs> okay, one game. Hey! <laughs> Is everyone happy with their dress-ups? Yes! No! You look beautiful, mate. But there's more in the dress-up box if you want to change your costumes. Okay, ready! Hooray! Great! Time to rescue the princess. Hey, I'm so excited! Okay, gang, like before, we have to find a way through to rescue Princess Muffin. Okay, but we have to do it without touching the lava. Big old bandit looking good as a big baby right there. So the easiest way to do this then would to be go to the left for two circles and go up the slide. Rather than me trying to go past everyone, which is just a little bit more complicated. So just head up the slide, head to the right to find little Muffin. And you will get the Flamingo Queen and the Classic Stripe achievement for completing Episode 2. Wackadoo! It's tiring waving and looking pretty. This is your reward for rescuing me. Ooh, shiny. Thanks, Muffin. Let's go, Muffy. We've got to get back for lunch. Okay, Dad. Oh, girls. Was there anything you wanted to ask Uncle Stripe before we go? Oh, yeah. Uncle Stripe, do you remember making a treasure map when you were a kid? Remember? How could I forget? I still keep it with me in my wallet. Really? Here, have a look. Wow. Uncle Stripe, what is the treasure? Well, when we were kids, we had the greatest toy in the world. It was... Dad, I'm busting! Let's go! Uh, in a minute, Muffy! But I'm busting! Gah, sorry, girls, we have to go. Don't lose that! Bye, Bluey! Bye, Bingo! Bye, Bye Muffin! Look, Bingo! We got another piece of the map! Just one more piece to go! Hooray! Great job! You finished the episode! Now you can play Ground is Lava. You found Uncle Stripe's piece of map. Let's put the treasure map piece in your sticker book for safe. And you know what time of day it is, kids? Yes, it's time to get some more collectibles and stickers. So... Head to the sticker book, and then when it is available, we will go back to the playground. Where do you want to go? Travel to the healer house. Travel to the playground. All right, let's do this then. So, first things first, we're going to basically go around the playground. So, first of all, we'll just start heading to the right, 
We're going to go up the hill and we can see the newspaper just reading by the bench. That is oh, a a big spot for people to look their, look at their kids. And if there's anyone on their own reading a newspaper who doesn't have kids, call the police. Okay, so uh, continuing on. Uh, don't go over the bridge yet. Just continue up and you can see just between these trees, there is a little leafy. Next up, we're going to come down the screen a little bit, head to the left into the playground itself, go into this little piece of uh, peaceness right here. Another hockey stick. So congrats on your butterfly wings. Right, heading to the left, what we're going to do is actually get a missable achievement in just a second, but we're going to go all the way to the left first, grab a little leafy off this wooden beefy, and we're actually going to go to the seesaw to the right. There's actually two seesaws in this area, but for some reason it's the one uh, just in the playground which seems to work. Um, but we're going to head up and go to the little bit of tennis court first. Grab the volleyball. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hey. And as you can see, directly behind you is El Hockey Sticko. Again, oh. If you're so magic, why don't you magic me up some money, mate? Anyway, uh, so now this is all the collectibles done in this tiny little area. So we will go and now and get the uh, Toast is Ready achievement. So what you got to do is basically catapult someone off the seesaw. Now, there's always a bunch of books on it. So we can basically just jump up. Now, what you're supposed to do is just jump as high as you can and then fall off, I believe. But for some reason, the achievement unlocked uh, fairly quickly just for jumping on it. So, yeah. So if it doesn't unlock, just keep jumping and keep flying off. <clears throat> so once that is done, then we can now head back to the tennis court. But this time we're going to be going all the way to the right hand side of the park. There is another missable achie or miscellaneous achievement that we're going to grab in just a bit as well. But for now, by the water and some rocks is leafy number three fee. And continuing onwards, so we'll go down past the sticker book here to the right. There's the other seesaw if you want to get try and get that achievement, but a lot of people saying it doesn't work. But we need to jump up on here anyway in order to get the cake on the lamppost. So give yourself a nice boost up. Now, what we're actually going to do is change it to Bandit. Now, I tried getting the Slide, Slide, Slide achievement with Bingo or Bluey, but it didn't seem to work quite as well. So, become either Bandit or Chili, and then we head to the left going up. And onto the right here is another bit of cake for us to eat. Yeah, just realizing that I could just grab it since Bandit is fully fledged adult. So, uh, again, oh, now we're... Night nurses. But as I was saying, it was, uh, there is quite a few collectibles to grab just in this little slide area. So we will jump up over to the right and climb up. There's a newspaper and a hockey stick to the left. Hooray! Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Now, for the slide, slide, slide achievement, what we're going to do, you're basically just going to go down the slide and keep mashing the X button. So if you keep mashing the X button, it will eventually do this. You'll jump 
to the next one and jump to the next one. So doing that should unlock the achievement. Like I said, I was mashing the X button quite a few times. And that's how we managed to get that one to work. For some reason, like I said, it's Bluey or Bingo. It didn't seem to chain as well. So, yeah. Right, so continue heading down the screen. Uh, we're on to the last few collectibles now. So we will grab this basketball. And you can see little cake bags on the left-hand side too. Oh, it's police cap time. We're going to stay at the YMCA. Sorry, was I thinking of the wrong... Uh, <laughs> was I just thinking of the wrong police thing there? Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Is that what Australian cop hats look like? Sorry if I just offended any Aussie cops on here. Didn't mean to put you as part of the YMCA. Sorry. Uh, so go to the right anyway, and on the bench there is the finale of the news papers. And now this is where we're going to get quite a majority of the plant stickers as well. So there's quite a few in this area. There's quite a few in the backyard area as well of the Gila house if you wanted to grab some there. But a lot of them we're going to get here. So what we'll do is pick up the water pot, of course. On the right hand side is a little water fountain for us to fill up. Nice mag of beer. Oh, look at that. Nice mag of beer, mate. And we will smash out this first one here on the left. So pretty. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. So Princess Tiara, Aladdin's come to save the day from Jafar. That's what that tiara reminded me of. Jafar, go a fire away. Right, get some more water and interact with the plant next to it. Now, of course, what you're going to see is a lot of the plants are going to be the same. Luckily for these two, they're not. That's awesome. And go ahead, fill up your mug with <coughs> water, not beer. Go down, and just here is where we're going to find the next pot. The, the next flower, even. Oh, so pretty. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. And then interact with the flower next to it as well. Bluey keeps saying, oh, so pretty. And well, thank you, Bluey. I, I grew this face myself. I mean, it uh, beats being a Halloween mask on its own, right? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so pretty. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Well, reindeer ears, tis the season after all. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Yes, yeah, sorry, we already done that one. Like I said, there's a lot of these plants that look like they could be different, and then they're not. But there is one of those big, 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 big trees, and this is the one of them. So you're going to literally have to go and fill up your water and come back, and fill up your water and come back a couple of times until the tree is big and beautiful as me. Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, so pretty! Wow, you got a sticker sport! That's awesome! Hey! Look at me, I'm astonishing! Uh, no, I'm just joking, I'm just an average, small-headed Welsh man. So, um, that's pretty much it now in terms of the flowers in this area. That's... we cannot get any more. Um, or there are new... there are no new ones here. As much as I thought this was a new one, it is actually not. See? I'm sorry, I just wasted your time again, didn't I? So, what we'll do is pop the, uh, water... water can, water pot, whatever you want to call it, down. And we will crack on with episode three. Now... <laughs> episode 3 makes me laugh because this is the Chattermax episode. Now, obviously, if you've seen Bluey, you'll know what Chattermax is. It's basically a really, really annoying kid's toy. And if you have kids yourself, you know just how much some toys can really berate your brain and make it want to fall out of your skull. Well, this episode is... <laughs> Sorry, I just laugh, just laugh at Bluey's no there. Um, yeah, so this is one of those episodes that's really annoying and really resonates with you when you have kids. So effectively, all we got to do then, and if if you're wondering what I'm doing, each of the four episodes I'm playing as each member of the Healer family, because it's nice to play as everyone. So again, like I said, in just like in previous episodes, we're just following the directional marker and cracking on. Um, so first of all, we are going to turn off the uh, sprinklers for Uncle Red. And then we basically just got to follow and try and catch Chattermax for about eight minutes or so. It's nice, it's nice. Wait here, mate. What's going on? The sprinklers are on. So? I just got a blowout. Oh, dear. Wouldn't want to ruin your perfect do. All right, we'll come save you. There's only one sprinkler left. Hurry up! Biscuits, the tap is on the other side. Maybe we can move that bench and jump over the bushes. Treasure map? I did. Whee! I also brought you your Christmas present. But it's April. Yeah, it's a bit late. Sorry. Treasure map! It's the latest version, apparently. Now with a hundred percent more talking. Oh, oh great. great. This episode of Bluey is called Chattermax. What have you done? What? We'll have to hide this one too. Wait, you hide their toys? Not all their toys, just that one. Brutal. Mum, Dad, look what Chattermax can do. Eat me, eat me! Ugh, that voice! Eat me, eat me! What should we feed it? Eat me, healthy thing! Eat me, healthy thing! What healthy thing? Let's look in the kitchen. What healthy things will Chattermax eat? Stuff like fruit, carrots, asparagus, edamame beans. Carrot corn. Strawberries are healthy, right? Right, kiddo. Grab them. Good job. Strawberries secured. Let's feed them to Chattermax.
Here we are. Let's feed our feathered friend. I'm just glad it's over. Feed me! Feed me! Again? Feed me! Squeaky thing! Feed me! Squeaky thing! Here you go, buddy. Dad, that's not squeaky. Nah, you won't know the difference. Nice one, mate. This is your fault. We have to find something squeaky. What about Robber Ducky? Oh, yeah, in the bathroom. Come on. Ducky's in the bathtub. Let's get that bar step to reach the edge of the tub. Hold on, Bingo. You'll get wet. Hee. <laughs> oh, yeah. If we turn on the tap, the water will help Ducky rise to the top and we can grab him. I've got to be honest, though, this bit makes me laugh as well. It's apparently a Bandit or Chili can't just bend over and grab the duck. They've got to waste water by bringing Rubber Ducky to the top. That's, uh, what a waste. The environmentalists are going to go nuts. Any bit of wastage, and their panties will have soiled themselves. We brought you something squeaky, Shadowmax. Well, at least it's educational. Something pretty? Flowers! On the deck! Let's go! This flower's pretty. Louie, it's nearly dead. No, it's not. We just need to water it. Okay, kids, there's a tap up here on the deck to fill it up. Nice! Fill to the top. Hooray! Ah, a plant! It's growing! Good work, everyone. Let's feed it to that little tyke downstairs. Go Chatterback, something pretty. We did it! Hooray! Okay, that's enough excitement for today. Kids, can you take Chatterbax into the playroom? Okay, okay Mum. What? The girls love it. <laughs> uh. Well, they're getting exercise. I can pay for that. Mum! Dad! Help! Johnny Max has gone crazy! Catch him! Oh no! Come on, let's try again. Hold on tight. No more chatter, Max. Please. Aww. Kids, you need to ask your Uncle Rad about the map. Oh, yeah. Uncle Rad, can we have a look at your piece of map? Sure thing. It's here in my wallet. 
I remember when we buried it all those years ago. It's a funny story. Hey, my wallet! The map! After it! Bear! It's going upstairs! It can climb stairs? To the lounge. All right, where is it? I'm worried about how quiet it suddenly is. Maybe let's check the cupboards or anywhere it might be able to hide. We found it! Wait, isn't our new Channel Max red? Oh yeah! Whose is this Channel Max? It looks like our old one that Dad said broke. Uh, does it? Yes, we need to find our new Channel Max. I think I hear it. Where is that coming from? Seems like it's back downstairs. it is. Gotcha. And don't let it go. All right. There it is. Quick, catch it. I've got it. Oh. Man, when's this thing going to run out of batteries? Not soon enough. All right. Well, that was relaxing. One map piece, as promised. <gasps> Thanks, Uncle Rad. I can't believe you hung on to it all these years. Of course. My hair looks awesome in this photo. Bluey, we've got all three pieces. Now we can read the map. What does it say? So, as it turns out, Chattermax is the worst toy ever invented. I do hope there's not an actual toy like that out there, because that is what causes people to go utterly insane. Now, one little thought I have just as we finish the episode here is... The reason I think so many people, there it is, so the episode's finished. The reason I think that so many people sort of relate to the Healer family, apart from them being obviously incredibly rich and a lot of us, are, well, let's say not, um, is the way that they react to certain, like, toys when they go, and, oh, Jesus. You know, like Peppa Pig, you know, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, they, they're always like, oh, yes, Peppa, we love absolutely everything. But, uh, yes, Bandit and Chili are very much, um, very much like us when it comes to annoying stuff, but also being very loving as well. So, that is why everyone relates, and that is why everyone loves Bluey. Everyone loves Bluey. Even if you're not a Bluey fan, you're a Bluey fan. So, off to the backyard. Let us get some more collectibles going. First of all, straight as we start, there is a cake by the tree. Or is that a, supposed to be a pie of some sort? I... I... I feel silly for asking now, but, well, it's a cake now forever. So, uh, right, let's go to the right, hiding behind one of these bushes, is the little leafy bags. Right, so we'll head to the right-hand side of the garden, uh, trying to not go through the trampoline. On the right side of the bushes, just to the gate, is another stick of hockey. And 
then if we go slightly more down, it's cake time. And that's it for the back back garden. So now we will head to the left. We're going to go ahead and grab some mo. So again, remember, we're not going in the house. It's all just the backyard. So the newspaper here by the window. Gra close enough. That appears to not be a newspaper. There it is. <laughs> Right, once the bike helmet's been unlocked, go to the left and you can see Leafy on this branch, bush even. Jump up and grab. And hooray! Right, so let us continue on to the left and we are going to see another collectible. It's a hockey stick just by the goalpost here. Again, if you somehow missed the hat-trick achievement earlier, you can go ahead and get that now. See, Bingo can shoot. Bingo can score! And we could do with a, we could do with a bingo at uh, Manchester United Football Club. Yes, I will keep taking the mick out of United because we can score. So grab the next leafy off the next bush. So that should now be three out of three. And then the rest are basically going to be uh, in the front garden, more or less. Oh, we got a party hat. It's party time, people! Now head to the left ever so slightly to find the next newspaper. Yay! And we're going ever so slightly left again. Uh, to the right, next to the bush, is a hockey wow. stick, and then you can see the newspaper on the left by the mailbox. Wow, you got a sticker sport! That's awesome! Ah. Yay! Wow, you got a sticker sport! That's awesome! Look at me, look at me. I'm the captain now. So for the final cake then, it's just buried in the flowers and that should be all the stickers done for the backyard. Now what you're gonna see is a little edit because we're gonna go ahead and get the plants. So what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and grab the water pot or the water, you know, the water, water, watering can even. Sorry, so there's a bit of an edit here. Um, basically it's chilly, so I decided to just put this so instead of coming back to it later on, I've just decided to do it now because it just makes sense. Just get it all out the way now. So if you're still playing as Bandit, um, uh, bingo, just go ahead and grab a watering can from wherever. And then we're just going to basically fill it up with water and head all the way up to the stairs next to the kitchen. So like I said earlier, then there's two plants that we need to water to get these stickers. The first one is going to be here on the left, and it's going to be like a green leaf thing. Wow. Now, what you're going to see is a, a probably a few more stickers unlocked here. Just ignore these for now. The, the couple that we've done on the right are from the creek, so just ignore them. Um, and then what we're going to do is go to the right-hand side to find a little, what kind of looks like butterflies, pink butterfly ones. <laughs> Impressive! Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome.
And that is going to be all of the sort of main plants done. Um, now, you will probably unlock a hat here. Um, again, remember, this is me when I came back a little bit later on. Um, so the only ones that you should have left now are the ones from the creek and the one, literally the one from the beach. So once those two have been done, we can go ahead, unlock the next episode. And again, like I said, it's literally just a case of following the marker direction. We're going for a little creek, chic, to see the beak of the creek. Hmm, they meant. Oh, why don't I come and play with you so Mum can finish your story? Okay. Bluey, how about we play? The guys are Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, magic xylophone! I thought you were helping! You're on your own? Please! This episode of Bluey is called Treasure. What happened to him? It's the kid's magic xylophone. When they hit it and say, freeze, then you're stuck like that. Ah, but how long? Until you hit the xylophone again and say, unfreeze. That's a rough deal. Why can't the people who aren't frozen save the person who is? Well, it's not how we usually play. <coughs> but I'll allow it. But how do we unfreeze people without the xylophone? What if we use their tail? Can we have another go with the new rules? Sure, let's do a practice run. You can practice on me if you like. Yep, Randad is definitely frozen. Let's practice unfreezing him now. Again! Again? It's to be sure we know the new rules. Oh, okay then, kids. Well done! Grandad is frozen solid again. Let's flip his towel to bring him back to normal. I like these new rules. Oh, I thought you might. I'll sit the next round out, though. Any more freezing and unfreezing and my tail will fall off. Mum and Dad's done! Oh, great! Oh, great! I love these new magic xylophone rules, but can we go to the creek now? What's so special about this creek? There's buried treasure there. Ah, oh, treasure hunt. I'll help you look for it. Really? Now what about supplies? Oh, supplies for treasure hunting? Always best to be prepared. You'll need to grab a shovel, bug spray and some garbage bags. Dad, what are we going to need garbage bags for? In case it rains. Once you have everything, come and meet me at the front of the house. All right, you guys heard, Grandad. Let's go get those supplies. Hey! Let's go to the kitchen and get the garbage bags first. Mum! Wait, where did we put them again? I put them up high because the girls keep using them as parachutes for their stuffed toys. Here, grab a stool so we can reach. We found them! What's next? A shovel! It'll be in the backyard. Let's head outside.
the shovel. Jeez, why is it all the way up there? We were making a mountain for Rug Island. Okay then. We'll have to jump on the sides of the mountain to reach the shovel. Hey! Okay, bags and a shovel. We're ready to rock. Wait. What is it, Bingo? You forgot the bug spray. Oh yeah. Where do we have it last? I think we have it up in our room. What on earth is it doing in? Oh,、uh, never mind. Let's go up and take a look. <laughs> How do we reach it? We can bounce on our beds to jump higher and reach it. Just be careful, okay? Okay, is it time to go to the creek now? Let's see: garbage bag, shovel, and bug spray. I think we're all set. Woo! Let's go meet Granddad. Yeah! How'd you go? Did you find everything? We did. Great. Let's go find the treasure. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the creek, eh? Looks like the scrub you used to play in, Chilly. It does. Do you know which way to go? Hmm. Ah, see that tree there? We've got to head this way. Let's go. Let's go. Hold up, you two. Remember to be careful, all right? Yeah. Watch out for the gazontopedes. Hey. Those aren't real. All right, I'll lead the way. Watch where you're walking, everybody. But he doesn't know where we're going. I have the map. Come on, let's try and keep up. Come on, Bingo. Granddad has taken a shortcut across the creek. But we can't go that way. The water's too deep. Hmm. We'll have to stick to the creek bank instead. We're gonna need to do some rock hopping. It's too far. Maybe we can move that rock to make a path. Good one. Now we can jump on the stepping stones. Watch out for the slippery ones. We'll need to jump over that log to reach the next stone. Let's go. Careful. Well done, everyone. Where to next? We're close. We need to climb that slope. Ready, Bingo? Yep. Well, there you are. You must have gone the long way round. Slow and steady, Mort. Come on, let's keep going. We need to follow the footpath among the trees. But how does he know where we're going? Okay, we're almost there. Oh no, Mozzies! Quick, the bug spray. Yes, we'll save you, Granddad. Hey, thanks for the rescue. Good thing you thought of bug spray, Dad. What's up ahead? The creek is. <laughs> What happened? I don't think anyone's cared for this area in a while. It's so sad. The creek used to be a beautiful place. Well, there's only one thing to do. Come on, the treasure can wait a few moments.
What do we do? How about we start at that dry section? Looks like the water is all blocked up. We need to get rid of this rubbish. How about we start with the things on the left side of the creek? Good thing we brought the trash bags. I'll hold it open so you can pick the stuff and throw it here. This place is looking better already. Look at the spar area, kids. There's some more rubbish to pick up. There's still room in this bag. I'll wait here for you to throw the trash. Come on! Now it's beautiful. It really is. Good work, everyone. The thing is, this place looks familiar. It reminds me of where we... Oh, man! This is the place! What? We're here? We're nearly there! For real life? For real life! Hey! hey! The place is a little bit up ahead. Come on, this way! Up there! Dad, it's too high! There are some rocks here. You can move them to make steps. Good idea, Dad. Come on, kids, let's go do it. We did it! Where to now, Bandit? This way! Come on! There's a rock in the river. We can jump over it. Yes! Let's hope it's not a wobbly one. We're almost there! Whoa! This rock is huge! How are we going to cross? I think we're going to need all the muscles available. Come on, team! Let's all push together! Yes, yes Dad! That was heavy. Come on, just round the corner. We only need to cross the water to that island. I thought you said we were nearly there. Can you see it? This is the best holiday ever. Not yet. Aha! There's something here! Oh, yay, yay, yay. This isn't treasure. It's just a dirty old doll. Hey, it's an action figure, not a doll. It's Power Bloke. He was our favourite toy ever. If he was your favourite toy, then why did you bury him? We had to. See, Power Bloke was the greatest action figure around, but we had to share him between the three of us. And did you? Not well. We used to fight over who got to play with him. A lot. It was usually me or Rad who won. We were the biggest. That's not fair. That's brothers, kid. One day, we had a big fight. So big that our dad told us he was going to take Power Bloke away. <gasps> what did you do? We decided to hide Power Bloke somewhere no one could find him. We made a map and split it between us. The plan was to go back and dig him up later, but I guess we forgot. It was Christmas. We got new toys to play with. I never forget one of my toys. Probably not. But you have to admit, it makes pretty cool treasure. 
Wait till I show this to Stripe and Rad! <laughs> Alright gang, look alive! We head to the beach in five minutes! Yeah! Bingo, did you remember to brush your teeth? Oh, I forgot! Okay, I'll race you to the bathroom. Come on! Yeah! What's the matter, Bluey? You've been quiet since the creek. It's just... We wasted all holiday looking for treasure, and there wasn't even actual treasure. Just an old toy. I'm sorry, kid. This is the worst holidays ever. Sometimes real treasure isn't shiny or gold. It's just special, because of the memories connected to it. It's me and Bingo playing Keepy Uppy. Oh yeah, the park! <laughs> I liked your costume, Dad. Yeah, yeah. It's Chattermax. I'm glad we finally caught him. And look! Bingo and I made it all the way across the big jumps. I'm glad you finally got your favourite toy back, Dad. Thanks, Bluey. This last page doesn't have any pictures on it. Yep, we're saving it for today. What do you reckon? Ready for one last day of holidays? Yeah! Gekki! You finally made it! Hooray! Alright, kids, let's hit the beach! Yeah! Bluey, this is the best holidays ever! Yeah! So there we go then, this is the final episode of the game done. There is a beach section as well, but that's not an episode. We're just going to go there for some collectibles. Uh, now, again, a bit of uh, life advice for everyone here. If you're going to be burying something, um, just chuck a couple of coins in. You know, just chuck some coins in and then whenever you have kids of your future, if you do or you just want to see it again, then you can go treasure hunting and find some actual treasure. Yeah, so anyway... That's episode four done. The longest one, I believe, done. But what we are going to do now is we are going to go back to the creek in order to get the rest of the collectibles and everything there. So ignore the beach for now. We're going to leave this to last. It's just nicer to go from, you know, one to five, you know, left to right rather than a bit everywhere. It just, just doesn't settle well in my brain. You can now go and find these collectibles at the creek. You can now go and find these collectibles at the beach. Where do you want to go? Risk travel, 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 travel to the creek. So then in the creek, there are obviously stickers, collectibles and everything. There are also uh, three plants that we're going to grow. But grab the leaf here straight in front of us on the rock. First of all, Chili seems to have eaten that there. So she, uh, hey. oh. She eats living leaves, which I tell you what, the meat eaters are not going to be happy with that one. Uh, so go ahead and grab the watering can and fill it up. Lovely. So the first flower then is going to be, well, effectively straight in front of us again. Hey! Impressive! Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. So, next time we are going to, or say this time, we're going to fill up our water again. So it's basically two flowers and a big old tree that we're going to do. But the tree's not till the very end. So, keep heading right, head down. And if you come to the sort of forefront of the screen, you can see a whole bunch of flowers here. This is the second out of two flowers. And like I said, at the very end, we're going to get the tree. Impressive! Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Right, so again, remember to keep bringing your watering can with you um, while we go all the way to the end. So grab the next hockey stick here by the tree. Hooray! 
and swiftly move on to the right hand side and in the tent is another Kaken. Impressive! Hooray! Oh! Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Man, man, you it means. Right, so next collectible is directly behind us there, or just on top of this little cliff edge things, the newspaper. Hey! Now we can go ahead, jump straight down, and make sure to bring our watering can with us. Not watering pot, but a watering can, that makes sense now. So again, this is kind of, uh, obviously we we've seen it in episode 4, where we're going to have to jump over the rocks. You keep going through the water, it'll just put you back to one rock. Now, there is another collectible. Uh, well, there's one up here, which is the hockey stick. But there is a leaf collectible uh, just on one of the rocks just below us as well, which I don't actually grab yet. Um, but I end up grabbing on the way back. We Basically, after we've gone to the end, we have to go back to the beginning in order to interact with the storybook anyway. So when we drop down here... We pick up the watering can, we can jump over to the right now, and find another newspaper collectible. And then remember, there is, if you want to get the next leaf collectible, there's one on the rock just to the left side of the screen. But if not, don't worry, like I said, we got to come back through these areas anyway. And ah, look at that! We are done! Oh, we've got the Queen! Although, to be fair, the Queen had pretty more bants than King Charles. King Charles is just known for... <laughs> well, let's let's say we we know what he's uh, King Charles is more famous for as we jump across to the right. But yeah, Queen Liz, my homie, she 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 was she was the real MVP. She had some bands. So rest in peace, Queen Liz. Right. So when we get up to this next area, there's a newspaper there on the right. Present. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. So yes, uh, by the way, we've unlocked all the costumes, just in case you didn't notice. So you didn't have to worry about grinding that one out. So we're going to head to the left. Not quite there. Um, I'm just putting the water can down, the water in can, yep. Grab the hockey stick. Now the next cake collectible, if you continue going down, there's a couple of steps and the, the next cake collectible is there as well. Again, that's another one that I forgot to grab the first time, but we'll grab on the way back through. Like I said, if you want to grab it, Head down the screen, down a couple of steps, and there it is. Otherwise, continue to move on. Okay, so another cake collectible is here. And there's the tree, by the way, that we are going to plant. So we are at this sort of end of the creek now. So then we can start moving all the way back through. So get some water with the waterfall. Hooray, I unlocked a badge. I'm a special guy. So yeah, just keep filling up the water can there with the waterfall and make the tree grow as big as it can grow. So now we should only have one plant sticker left, which we will get at the beach. So uh, yeah, going well. So now we can drop the water in can. We're going to head to the left and the leaf is on the rock right there. So this should, like I said, if you grab the other two collectibles earlier, that's good. That's fine because, again, we, we're going to have to go back all the way through the creek in order to get back to the beginning in order to interact with the sticker book. Anyway, uh, so let's just go backwards and now grab the final two. So remember the first is in this little area then, so we're going to head down, it's where we found the um, hockey stick and the little leaf, so we head down a couple of steps, there is the next cake, so that's another sticker, that's three out of three.
And when we get down to the next area then, remember the leaf is just on the rock past the log. There it is. So again, I did miss that one going through, so apologies. But now we should be all good, so we can just... Go all the way back to the sticker book. Let's get to the beach. Finish up those collectibles and the four remaining game achievements. Hurrah! Yeah, I didn't know Chili could rap. <laughs> Listen to this now. Travel to the healer house. Travel, 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 Awesome job, Chili. I like it. So first things first, make sure to grab the trampoline uh, sticker right here on the left-hand side. Wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. Hey! And we're going to grab the last flower now while we're here. Grab the watering can, interact with the shower... Uh, foot washing thing there on the left hand side go all the way to the left all the way and you can see well I went straight for the wrong <laughs> the, the wrong bush right there <laughs> there it is just sticking out of the sand you're gonna need to go back and get some more water and interact with it but that will be all the stickers complete so after you've done that then you will get the sticky situation achievement But before we head to the left, we're just going to go into the sea here in front of us to grab the last um, beach ball. So that'll be the last beach ball, then go and plant the rest of the flower, and then sticky situation. Lovely jabbly, that is the loveliest of rare achievements. We do enjoy that one. So, now let us go and get the rest of the collectibles and finish these ones up. So, first of all, there's one Kakin on the left-hand side. In. Now, basically, if you just uh, keep walking down the screen, you can see a little walkway that you can go up in order to grab that cake easily. Um, instead, I decided to change to Bluey. Get a lift with mom or dad and throw ourselves up there. Oh, so pretty. Hey. So now we're going to drop back down. And there's basically going to be a lot that are just going to be scattered around the beach constantly. So the next one is the newspaper directly from where we just were. Hooray! There is also another newspaper at the beginning where we started, just to the right. So if you want to grab that, uh, you can. Again, I, ac I accidentally just missed that one, so I end up grabbing that one last. So if you go back to where we started, uh, you can grab that newspaper now. Or you, we can just go ahead and grab... There's another two collectibles here. Again, we're going to have to be bluey and get chucked up to grab the leaf on the umbrella. Pretty. 
And to our immediate right, there's going to be the next one in the sand pit. Nobody puts baby oh, in the corner so or cake in the sand pit. So next up then, we'll jump out of the sand pit here. We're going to go um, back on ourselves sort of and to the right to find it leafy. Oh, so pretty. And then we will continue on, well, we're going to the sort of background of the screen. You can see the hockey stick poking out oh, of so the pretty. already made seashell seashells on the seashore. Shang Cashel. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Shawshank Redemption. Chicago! You're out of there! Sorry. Little Ace Ventura quote there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so continue on to the... Uh, in fact, we're actually going to go to the background here because we're going to get uh, Chili to... Or Bandit or someone to just chuck us up on the right-hand side cliff there in order to get some cake. There we go. Although, like I said, there is another... Walkway up anyway, so you didn't didn't actually have to do that. Um, so go ahead. That'll be the last cake that we can grab. Hurrah! Come on, hooray, damn it! Oh, there we go. Right. Well done, Bluey. You hooray. Right, now we'll go down to grab a newspaper, and then from here we'll go down and slightly left to grab another hockey stick. Right, so three more things left to grab, unless you already collected the newspaper at the beginning, then there's only two things left to grab. So head up here, we're going to go to the right, past the old seagull, you can try and kick the seagull in the butt if you want, just to see how it goes, nothing really happens. Uh, hockey stick here in the sandcastle, and there is the last leaf over on the right hand side. That's awesome! Oh, so pretty! Wow, you got a sticker sport! That's awesome! Now, like I said, if you did already collect the newspaper uh, at the beginning of the level, for exactly where we started, then you would have already got the All The Things and Holidays achievement, but I'm just going to go ahead and grab that one right now. <laughs> wow, you got a sticker sport. That's awesome. I do love a double, double rare achievement unlock. It, it really just, really gets the blood pump in the veins going, you know? Right, so the final four achievements that we should have now are basically for playing uh, the four games. Uh, so the Keepy Uppy Expert. So basically what you're going to do is just press the Y button and click whatever game that you want. So we're going to play Keepy Uppy first. And we have to hit the balloon 25 times before it hits the ground. So this one's easy enough then, just look at the marker on the ground and just uh, make sure that you're underneath it. Hit it 25 times, the achievement will unlock. And uh, yeah, job done. Game over. How? Oh, not not good. <laughs> <laughs> so 
the next achievement then is for winning five games of Chattermax Chase. So effectively what you need to do is grab Chattermax Chase. There's a little timer in the right hand top right hand corner. If you've got hold of him for all the while, um, you get a star. So basically you are eventually, you have to win. There's no point, you can't just draw. If you end up drawing, it doesn't count, you have to win. But as you can see, if you are close enough to when somebody grabs it, you uh, get stunned and frozen for a few seconds. So all you got to do is try and grab it. Uh, grab the Chatmax Chase and kind of run around, try not to get caught. Uh, sometimes it's very easy. Sometimes you can get easily annoyed. So yeah, this one's going to take about roughly uh, potentially about 10 minutes or so. So I've edited it down slightly. Uh, but just make sure you get at least one star, or if anyone else has one star, make sure that you get two stars. Again, you have to win these games. Game over. <laughs> oh, not not right. good. <laughs> Chattermax Chase. Let's play Chattermax Chase. <laughs> Game over. Now, I actually had to play this six times because I drew once, which was just a pain. Um, but the next one we're going to play is winning five games of Ground is Lava. Now, this one seems to be really easy since the stars which we have to grab are always in the same place. And there's nobody else on screen. So, and for some reason, it decided to unlock um, after just winning three times. So, hopefully you get the same little bit of luck right there. So like I said, the stars are always in the same place then, so what you need to do is go the right way. I went to the left and just made things quite awfully difficult for myself. Um, but you need to go to the right and just basically grab all three stars. Again, do this normally five times, but like I said, this unlocked for me after just three wins. Whatever way, just keep doing it until you get the only way to travel on lava achievement. Ha! <laughs> Hooray! Ha! Go -ho -ho -ho! Game over. Go -ho -ho -ho! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Ground is Lava. Go -ho -ho -ho! Ha! Whoa! <laughs> Go! 
game over. Woo! <laughs> 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 oh no, not that game. Let's try a different one. Ground is lava. Let's play Ground is Lava. <laughs> ha! Game over. <laughs> and to get the final achievement then, we basically now have to play the magic xylophone and freeze everyone in less than 30 seconds. Let's Was that good? Yeah, but anyway. So yeah, obviously you would have played it in episode four, so you need to try and get as close to uh, close to people as you can and press the X button and make sure that um, they don't get tapped on their tail, otherwise they'll let them freeze. So you have to do this in less than 30 seconds or freeze everyone in less than 30 seconds. Once it's done, the achievement should unlock and then that is the adventures of Bluey, yes! Now, now that Bluey is done, very, very enjoyable game, we want a Bluey 2. No pressure though, outright games and uh, attacks games, but we do want a Bluey 2. But there we go then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so, so much. And just enjoy Bandit looking at the sunset in peace and harmony. I will see you in the next one. Big love.